Hi, I'm Mark Logan and welcome to the Last Light School of Photography and today we're back out with the skylight, the new improved skylight in fact, um, because we've completely gone ahead and changed all these uh, connectors. So once upon a time they used to be uh, used via a Velcro sy system on here uh, and now what uh, Last Light have gone ahead and done in their ingenious kind of uh, approach to kind of allowing us to work faster on location is allowing us just to use this simple clip system to get the different surfaces um, on and off. Um, so uh, it just allows us to kind of hot swap because there's so many different surfaces in the system um, it allows us to just get a little bit more creative uh, stops us from having to kind of think oh you know what that's on there, that'll do, um, because you can't, you can't be bothered. Or you might be in time restraints um, as far as the kind of the shoot, the sun going down or whatever. Uh, today you're going to be seeing us uh, use, using it in a variety of ways. We're going to be using uh, diffu diffusers, we're going to be using uh, reflectors, and we're going to be using flash through it to operate kind of a softbox approach. Um, really what I've just demonstrated is the power of the skylight especially in the more kind of commercial world of photography where kind of um, the assistants have got to travel for miles on end with bags in hands or you're having to work uh, with rigid reflectors like the ours. Uh, remember these are uh, a more uh, efficient uh, reflection of light than the likes of uh, other reflectors. Why? Because they're stiff and rid rigid and that's the key point, point to it. Um, but again as far as the different surface is concerned, different surface, different effect. Here we've got the two by two. Um, this is usually used for kind of a big softbox approach, or you're going to see it during the film uh, being used as a big diffuser to operate like a big softbox, of course. Um, but we've got a range of surfaces one, uh, once more. The one on here, in fact, is one of my favorite now. It's the deflector. It's basically a diffuser with a small silver stripe, uh, which allows us to kind of still shoot flash through it or sunlight through it if we want. But it also, from this side, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a slight silver stripe on here. We can use it like a very soft, uh, uh, silver reflector. Um, then on this side it's the true diffuse, diffuser. This is what we use to actually kind of completely knock out the sun as far as its harshness and reduce the, uh, the, co the contrast. Um, we can use this again as I said uh, as also as a softbox. You can be using that quite a lot during the session today. Um, but as far as the, uh, the one by ones these are the more portable as far as the kind of the small ver uh, version. These are what I kind of carry in the car the whole time. Um, why? Because I'll often use it just in front of camera position so I can kind of bounce some of the light back onto it, especially because I work so much with forward shadow. In other words, the sun is behind the, sub the subject. The sun coming down behind them will hit the panel. I'm usually working low with fashion anyway, so the light is being kicked back up again. And uh, again, <laughs> because of my belly, <laughs> um, if I'm, wor I'm working close up, I can lean this onto a table or whatever it would be to actually kind of really change the difference in the variety. There's a lot to cover during the film that you're going to watch and we've got a great model Lucy, we've got some really funky images and uh, kind of during the course of the film I'll explain all the different setups and how we're using the different skylights for the different effects. So enjoy it, see you later. Excellent, stay again, let's do it, change in, a little bit more, change this left, that's gorgeous, looking out a little bit more, turn the body around towards Carla touch, it's beautiful, straight at me again. Straight at me, lowering the chin, turn the head around to a Carl Moore, touch it with light Carl Moore for me, that's beautiful, it's there, and again, straight at me again, darling, gorgeous, again, straight at me, relax, so look, real move, yeah, okay, that's gorgeous there, again, towards Carl Moore, changing the hands, again, uh, you need to just turn towards Carl a little bit more with the feet. Move with the feet and not with the hips. You've got more rotation off me. Brilliant. Okay, a gorgeous. There you go. Straight at me. Turn the head that way a little bit. Uh, gorgeous there. Twisting towards. That's gorgeous. There you go. Lovely. And again. Excellent. Let's get some little bit of animation. Excellent. Looking towards Carl for me. Beautiful. There you go. And again, darling. Relax. Let me just come close, closer. Turn the body again towards Carl and the feet, please. So I know they're moving. One second, quick test on the headshot. Excellent. Just kind of slip off the straps and kind of just get a little bit hard and rugged. No, no, keep the bra at the bra. Is that all in one? Just, yeah, kind of just a little bit harder kind of thing with it, yeah? Or kind of a big, edgy and really tight. At me. Me. At me. Cool. Twist to Carl a touch. Excellent. It's there. Gorgeous. Keep it. Shoot some horizontal a minute. It's gorgeous. There, let's do it. Again, round, round towards Carl. Let's bring the hand up to this side. 
Get on it, Carl. That's beautiful. Just there. Lose this hand for me and use the other one. That's gorgeous there. Lower it down towards Carl a touch more. And relax, Dunning. Brilliant. So as you can see from that shot, uh, we're using a two by two diffuser. That's to get rid of all that harsh sunlight above. Then we're using a one, a one by one with a silver reflector on. That's to kind of give us that mirror style of reflectancy. And obviously Carl's got to really maneuver that around to make sure he gets that edge light running down the side. And then if you, know, you notice we've got a two by one running and that's adding us a little bit of an accent on separation because we've got quite a, a dark background here. Um, I just don't want to rely on the dark background to separate her. I want to add that extra little edge. So uh, again, because we're working pretty much alone today, just the two of us on the model, uh, what we've got to make sure is that we're kind of view, using efficiency of equipment. And things like that stop us from having to rely on putting in flash or kind of having a, a stray body going down on the beach and asking them to hold a refle reflector and so on. So uh, again, the two by two diffuser to diffuse the light onto the model. Then we've got the one by one with the, sil the silver to add the real edge and the exposure, of course. And then as far as the two, the two by one, another silver reflector on here to add as the accent. Next shot we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of reverse this around uh, just to kind of put a completely as far as for forward shadow is concerned. And we're going to just add in that reflector from the front going back toward, to, towards her to create a different style of photograph. Less hands. It's gorgeous. Leaning forward a little bit for me. Keep it. Second. That's gorgeous there. Let's do it. Keep it. Straight at me again. Keep it. Again. Eyes at me. Couple more. Real moving. Looking down, straight at me now, lower the chin, that's gorgeous there, Will. Again, beautiful, relax. Twist the body around towards here, let's just, just kind of almost cover up yourself fully with your arms. Eyes at me again. Let's, let's put the hands around in the waist fully. Let's just get the tats. Let's go just there. Let's do it. Again, straight at me. Relax. Brilliant. Some awesome shots there. Um, what we've done is uh, reverse the set I was saying to you. So now, in fact, where is the diffuser, the two by two above with the diffusion material? Uh, it's still taking away all the harsh sunlight onto her hair. Lucy's very bleached blonde, and if we allowed that sun to go onto it, it's literally gone, and it would completely lose all the, de the detail in the hair. So if that was the shot for the likes of a hairdresser or something like that, we're going to have real trouble kind of keep the, keeping the control of the exposure. Um, then what we've done, we've uh, softened the light coming back to it. As you can see, it's a, a much softer style of lighting. The, uh, the two by one now, we've just kind of spun it around. We're using a silver white on this two by one. Uh, so it meant we just kind of flick, uh, flicked around. We took off the, the stand just to allow the uh, angle of the light to just bounce in a little bit more. And then Carl, he's been uh, push, pushing in just a little bit of the warmth. We're using the Sunfire on the one by one just to actually warm up the shot. Remember, we can, of course, control all the warmth in post-production and so on. But the difference between adding the yellow onto her now, it'll still keep the coolness of the background. Or if I custom balanced onto the face with the yellow light, it would make that background go even bluer, of course. So again, they're quick tricks al allowing us to really saturate the color, but control it in the way that I want to. So when we're using these different kind of reflector panels and the different surfaces, of course, each one is doing a specific job. It's just not about diffusing light or reflecting light. It's also about controlling the light and the temperature of the light as well. So it's about time I showed you how to put this together, really. Um, the original skylight, the covers were uh, fastened on with Velcro. And it kind of, they, they were quick, but when you're working on location, any minute that you can physically spare is obviously going to be time well spent uh, kind of on the creative end of the shoot. Um, the new ones are actually just on the kind of clips here and it allows us to change covers rapidly or even arrive at set and kind of get it done straight away as well. Um, this is the two by one and uh, as you can see kind of even a one, a one man job just fixing this on full stretch so we get the maximum out of the reflector panel as well just allow, allows you to pretty much change whatever you want. So I'm not on about just switching it across. This is the deflector, so it's a diffuser. And on the other side, you can see we've got this silver, uh, silver stripe. I'm not just on about doing that. I'm on about the full change over the cover in less than a minute compared to perhaps five or six, six minutes with the older design. But great improvement with the product and awesome use for me on location. Okay, shoot. Okay, again, changing. It's gorgeous there, again, beautiful. 
a little bit more angle, a little bit more shapes. Cool, turn into me just a little bit more. Excellent, it's there. Let's do the head shots a minute. Let me just move a touch, sorry, it's there. Straight at me. Can you just step that way a little bit, darling? Just a little bit, brilliant. Okay, again, let's do it. Straight at me. Excellent, turn the body around towards that way more. Beautiful, and again, turn the head back to me. Beautiful, head to me, to me, to me, to me. It's gorgeous there. Let's do the horizontal shots. Again, gorgeous. Again, lower the chin. Beautiful shot, again. Looking off. Excellent, relax. So we just decided to swap across the two by one highlight to just give me a little bit more reflectancy of the light. We're moving from the deflector, which is becoming very fast my favorite surface, uh, but we're gonna add in a little bit more kick. We're going to the silver white. Uh, we've already got a silver white running here to add in some detail to the background, uh, but now we're gonna add in a silver white to increase the amount of return of the light. So we add that extra accent running down the, uh, the shadow side uh, of Lucy's part here. And uh, you can see how Carl kind of, it's a big reflector. So uh, again, we'd usually be using two of us to actually get it done in much quicker time and so on. Uh, but uh, pretty much within a minute, you get no trouble in doing that. Chat about the set for a minute. We've got the uh, diffuser coming in here. They're on two light, light stands. They're just being used with some sand, uh, sandbags to weight, to weight them down. A little bit of breeze. That's a big panel. It's going to blow if you don't weight, uh, weight that down, of course. Um, then we've got the other reflector, the two by one, sil a silver white again. That's to add the, de the detail just into the background. And in fact, you would think, well, why are you using this kind of background here when you've got loads of kind of space to work? I tell you what, that is a perfect background why I'd be dragged for three hours drive by a client to say, I found the perfect location for you. And it's got lovely green textures and this, that and the other. And you get there and you think, God, we could have done that in Photoshop, you know? Uh, but uh, again, so what, uh, what we're doing, the big panel to diffuse all of the light away from, Lu from Lucy. So I've just got that lovely soft light coming onto the face. And then all of the other lights are being used just to add an accent for either the detail onto the wall or gonna be back onto her. Luce, come on in, let's finish the shop, darling. It's coming to that same place me again, beautiful. Kind of a little bit more cow, cowboy, cowgirl. Here you go, it's gorgeous there. Let's do it. One second, let me just check, you look beautiful. Oh, Carl, that's wicked, mate. And again for me, keep it, shooting it. Standing up taller now, straight at me. It's gorgeous there. Love that, lower the chin though, beautiful. Okay, stand up tall, just legs apart, hands just down to the side, really sim simple. Straight at me with the face, darling. It's gorgeous there again. Let me shoot in the clo close up. Looking off to that side for me if you can. Beautiful. Look how that silver edge is just really adding such a crystal sep uh, the separation running down uh, Lucy's side there. Again, let's do the, clo the close ups. And again, darling, lower the chin more. Beautiful. Just as you are. Wicked. Drop hands down fully. Turn the head this way more. It's gorgeous there. It's beautiful again. Just pop the hands behind the back for me. It's beautiful, just there. Turn the body around towards the light more. Head back to me. That's gorgeous, there, let's do it. Let's do it again. Straight at me again. Beautiful, last, last shot. Straight at me, with the head. Let me shoot the full, the full length a minute, yeah? Change the pose fully. Looking back towards the light more. One sec, again. Straight on to me, square, it's beautiful, just there. At me again. Excellent, relax. That's pretty cool, that. That's just with one flash as well. Uh, we've got a great little location here with the pillars. Uh, we're using uh, one big diffusion panel, uh, the two by two again. Uh, however, instead of kind of diffusing the light now, and now it's diffusing the flash, so it's still diffusing light. It's a full length soft, soft box, the way that we're using it, of course, so I can shoot everything from the full length, three quarter length, and close up, of course. Then we're using two uh, two by one panels, just to kind of fill in. The problem we've got is that this uh, back part of the pier is green, so if we reflect that light off that, it's gonna come up a greeny color. But more importantly, it's, it's dull and it's gray and it will absorb the light. So it's really not gonna give us enough kickback. And because I wanna kind of limit it in the amount of equipment as far as flash is concerned, just that one light co uh, coming through, then two sil silver panels, one axis of fill to the front, or to the side, I should say. And then we've got Carl behind there. Say hello, Carl. Hello. 
Um, he's uh, using that again to add that accent edge, the, sep uh, the separation light on the opposite sides. The quick technique that we use pretty much as a default with most fashion. So one light for direction, opposite side and behind to add as that separation with it. A quick technique, three, uh, three panels, each doing their own, uh, own job of course. One to diffuse the flash, two to reflect it back and separate or fill in. We're just swapping over from the 2x1 silver now to a 2x1 diffuser. Uh, we're going to convert the reflector, what was, into a strip box just by using the diffusion panel. One of the cool things about this, of course, is that uh, when we're carrying down to kind of a long location away, we pretty much uh, prep the frames uh, from the vehicle. And then what we do is uh, kind of just double mount the uh, material, one on each side, and then we just take off the different materials as we need. Uh, depends on the job. Okay, ready? Cool. Ready? Shoot in. Change it. Shoot in. Cool. Dead, dead straight pan to me, yeah? Just use the one hand up to the hair behind you. Can you just, as good as there, let's do it. Excellent. Okay, looking off to the side now, yeah? Okay, shoot in. Again, shoot in. Look the other, the other way for me, loose, change the pose fully, just, all, just almost going to kind of a bit of a cuddle. Beautiful, that. Lower the shoulders a little bit, get that hand away from the face as much, that's better. Brilliant, love. Can I use hands out now? Both of them, yeah? Real kind of strange, moving. Let's love it's there, it's great. Change, waiting, shooting. Love it, keep it. Turn the body to the profile for me. Excellent, love that, keep it. Gorgeous there, it's lovely, keep it. It's beautiful, let's shoot the full length as well. Legs wide, wide, wide apart, just the hands out, out towards the side. Again. Shoot in. Okay, straight, just drop out the hands flat. Just pull them away from the body a little bit. Lower the chin. Keep it. Relax, brilliant. Shoot the close-ups. Shoot in. Straight at me again for the last shot. Can you step back a little bit more? Almost dead, zomb zombie-like. Just get the feet together. Again, shoot, shoot in. Shoot in. There you go, gorgeous there, let's do it. Keep it, straight at me. Relax. Good shot, Danny. Brilliant, thank you. So what a great finish to the shoot really, uh, we've gone for a double diffusion panel, each with a flash kind of coming through it. Remember these are full length soft boxes, so I can shoot from three quarter length to full, to full length because that's what they simulate. Even if I wanted to run double diffusion, I could just put another diffusion panel on the front of course and then we get that double diffuser. Gone for a quite a, an accented style of light, uh, lighting, quite dramatic in fact. I've gone for what we call hatchet which is kind of, it's uh, just behind the model, just off to the sides. Doesn't give you any light through, uh, through the middle as if you kind of split the subject in half. But as she looks off to the one side and looks off to the other, we are getting that light coming through. We've got a two by two running on my left hand side or when it was in, ca in camera position, the right, the right hand side. That's just giving me a bigger pool of light. That's all that's doing. We've got the Elenchrom quadras running behind, just giving us that full whack of power. And uh, we're using quite a fast shutter speed here, 200 of a second, uh, meet, a meter in here at 5.6 at 100 ISO, just to knock down as much of that background as we physically can, of course. Skylight on my right-hand side here, or left is the camera position. This is a two, a two by one, again with a single layer diffuser, just to give us that lovely soft light with it. So all in all, you can see what the versatility is as far as the skylight. And with the new clip system, where it allows us to swap hot, in other words, really fast, uh, between the different surfaces uh, allows us to get a little bit more creative when we're working on location with less hassle, of course. So I'm Mark Cleghorn for The Last Light School of Photography. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.